Hey guys, I am Daisho and I am here playing some magic. I don't really know how many videos I'm going to be uploading a day. I just uploaded the first video about a couple hours ago, so I have a few comments on that. It seems like everybody's happy to see me. Yay, that's always nice. But anyway, Tree Folk deck is one of those decks that I was really excited about when it came out. And then I played with it for a while and I'm just like, meh, you know what, I don't like it. But I've also noticed that WMG and a lot of other people seem to agree. really like this deck and they think it's actually one of the better ones. So... I think I am going to just try it out for a little bit. Um, I'm going to just briefly go through and show you uh, what cards are running in the deck. And then you guys can let me know and be like, No, Daisho, why you no be running Brindlebore? Brindlebore, best card ever. And I will be like, okay, thanks, guys. And... Then, oh, really? Am I running Dauntless? Is is he is he a decent card? I didn't I didn't know that. But, uh, anyway, so this these are the cards that I'm running. I don't know if it's the best way to run the deck. So maybe the 1,000 people that'll see this video will know. Who knows? Uh, anyway, I'm really excited to be back. I I definitely had fun, and it was like easy not posting videos, but posting videos is just so much fun, seeing your guys' feedback, all that kind of stuff is just really enjoyable, and uh, I'm going to keep doing it for as long as I possibly can, I think. So anyway, this hand is really good. I have two mana accelerants, beacon of creation, and a tree full carbinger, and three lands in hand, so I can actually go search for something. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to search for here. But it might just be something really, really big. I mean, it, it should probably just be Dauntless. But it could just... Actually, maybe I'll just get this guy. He's so resilient to removal. I don't know. Maybe I should just get Dungrove Elder. I really don't... I just don't know what the best card in this deck is. I don't know. I'll get a Dauntless. That way I could play him turn four. And... Uh, be happy about it. The whole thing, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to explain the whole thing with putting a tree folk harbinger on top. That's, I think that's pretty bad because basically the first one doesn't count. All it does is get you the second one. So then the second one is still the only thing searching. So if it was just put it straight in your hand, then yeah, sure. Play the uh, tree folk harbinger and then play the next one. But this way, all you get out of it is the extra zero three wall. So I'm really not a fan of that. And I guess I just don't like that line of play too much. I think I'm going to play the boss banner right here. And then uh, next turn I can play Dauntless. But it uh, looks like my opponent's playing Cloudburst. And hopefully I explained that that well enough. The whole why you don't get another Chief Oak Harbinger with the 0-3. I don't know if that's still an issue. But I just I remember seeing it in a video a while back. And oh, double Elixir of Immortality. Alright, so I mean I can deal 30 damage this game. <laughs> Not a big deal. I think with Dauntless it should be in like 12 seconds that I actually get that. But, yeah, alright, cool, we drew another land that is very, very much happy. Obviously swing first here in case he wants to bolt my guy in combat. If he did want to bolt my guy, he obviously should have done it pre-combat, but I still don't want to give him any extra options. So, anyway, my, my dude's a 6-6, six, six, so really don't think other than Lightning Bolt Reverberate or Double Lightning Bolt, there's anything he can really do here to kill my Dauntless. That's pretty good draw for me. Um, so I can basically get another land out and play him, so uh, that's going to be a 9-9 nine, nine Dauntless. That works for me. I'll swing for 10 here. It looks like he got a little bit land screwed, but <laughs> I don't know how much it would have mattered, because this is ridiculous. Oh, into the Royal. That's fine. He's going to bounce my Dauntless. It'll buy him some more time. It's actually a really good play. Um, it, it saves him 9 damage here, and then another 10 next turn, or maybe only 9. I don't know. But... Definitely a really good play on his part because it buys him a couple extra turns. Generally, you want to be able to use uh, Into the Royal with the kicker cost, but I mean, if you can't do it, then it's whatever. <laughs> All right, so he did draw the land here, gets a Storm Crow out. Not really sure what that'll do. It'll probably block my Cloud Crone Oak once. I don't think it'll do much else. Um, I can play. Can I play both of these? No, I can't play Beacon of Creation and Dauntless, because I have six lands, so that's three for Dauntless, and then this doesn't get the uh, the Bosk Banneret bonus, so there you go, as I predicted, blocking the Cloud Crown Oak. Oh, and Lightning Bolting it. Okay, good turn for him. I'm, well, I don't know. I mean, he had to use two cards to get rid of a 3-4, 
So, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't terrible, but it definitely wasn't just excellent. But he does have four cards in hand, um, so he definitely could still have a lot of things. I'm going to play the boss banner right here, and I think I may as well just hold on to the Beacon of Creation. Sure, it'll kill him a couple of turns quicker, but uh, there's no point in forcing the issue if he manages... <laughs> I really can't see him dealing with my, um, well, yeah, because I win the game next turn anyway. Um, does he have some, like, he has Thunder Dragon, but that's, well, alright, fine, I'll just play the Beacon of Creation. Generally, you don't want to go all in, but when you know the other person's deck list completely, and I'm pretty sure that there's nothing he can play, he doesn't, he doesn't run Pyroclasm or anything like that, even so, it's, it's looking like, this is going to be GNG, -G. and now this way I can actually, let's play this land, this way I can actually kill him this turn, where if I didn't play those guys, then he can just sac- let's just get everybody get in there. Um, then he can just sacrifice his uh, elixir. Shock. That's not going to cut it. Fleeting, uh, fleeting, what's it called? Um, I can't remember what it's called. Does this cut it? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay. No, I still have 17 coming through, I think. Uh, there we go. 18 coming through. I guess I missed one. That's fine. So, there we go. Tree Folk getting it in. I mean, it is against Cloudburst, which is one of the middle decks, I, I suppose. So, it's not really such an impressive victory. And he did he did miss a land. And I kind of did have the nuts hand. So, you know, that, w that was a fun win and all. But I don't know. I don't know if it counts as like, ZOMG trees are the best. But hopefully they are. Yay, we get in a game so quickly. That's always nice. I can't believe that after a, this game's been out for a year, you can still get in pretty much any time of the day and within two minutes and just get into a match and just jump right in there and play Magic. That's really awesome. That's that's one reason why I still like duels, even though I play a lot of other formats. Oh, man. If I, if I was on the draw, I would keep this hand so hard. All I need to do is draw a land, and then I am so good. But, I mean, I can go... I, I don't even have to go down to, to seven. Just stay at seven. Um... Not too great, but I'm going to keep it. I don't really want to mull to six. Ah, this hand has so little action, though. This double beast within, I'm not liking it. Because I don't have an excess of lands that I can kill of my own, and I don't have an excess of ways to deal. Um, man, that was that was terrible, drawing that Primal Bell there. Um, I don't have an excess of ways to deal with my opponents having three fours, so... You know, I mean, I mean three threes. I, I guess I do have the Cloud Chrono, who can just wall off a three three. Pretty successfully. It looks like he's probably playing some sort of um, red deck. Wow, that was very descriptive, Daisho. Why don't they give you an award or something like that? Hey, he plays mountain. He's playing that red deck. Um, I wonder if my if my voices are if anybody actually took offense to that. I don't. I don't even know what kind of voice. I think it may have been like a southern accent, but it, I mean, it was obviously a terrible, terrible southern accent, but. Alright, so, swinging for three, that's fine. Cloud Chronox are pretty good against red in general, because then they have to deal four damage. I would really not want to see FTK right here. That'd be the worst. Chandra's Ootridge wouldn't be too wonderful either. Uh, Spitting Earth, okay, so we're playing against Strength of Stone. That is, that's interesting. It's a, it's a fun deck to play. I don't know. How good it is. Alright, so we can actually punch him in the face for uh, for 13 here, but I don't think I will. Um, end step, I'll probably kill one of my lands, and then that way I can, <laughs> believe it or not, win with my double primal bellow. But, I mean, he's probably going to play something here. Um, just a flowstone overseer. That guy is a 4-4 four -four to begin with. Um, let's pause it here. So, alright, so here's the dealio. Uh, I play Beast Within, kill a land of mine, I get a 3-3. Swing with both my guys, and I can double Primal Bellow, let's say it's for 4, and that's not enough if it's for... So instead I can just, um, use Primal Bellow as a kill card, get rid of Flowstone Overseer, and then that card doesn't take away the game. I'd rather lose a land than give him a 3-3 at this point in the game. All right, I like this. I like this playing here. Okay, so if he doesn't block, then we win. Um, if he does block, then we get to kill his guy. So that's good. He's gonna block though. 
Like, I can't see him not blocking here. He knows I have some... So oh, no. No blocks. So, Primal Bellow and Primal Bellow. Jeej. So, that, that is swinging in for 16. And uh, that was fun. Primal Bellow is a good card. He definitely should have blocked there, but, you know... I mean, he, he understands that I have a trick, and he doesn't really want to lose his Flowstone Overseer. He's still at at 14, so there's no 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 threat or anything, right? It's not like the Tree Folk have instants. But either way, that really worked out for me there. So yeah, I guess I guess this is this is a pretty good video. Two two beatdowns and a uh, a nice little little guidey guide at the beginning to see what I used and I don't know if I'm gonna do more videos like this anytime I've ever tried to make a series of videos it's just in I finished a couple okay I didn't it's not like I've never finished a series in my life but there, there are many that I have not finished I am gonna be the first one to admit that anyway hope you guys enjoyed that video and have a wonderful day bye